Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julie and I'm here to do my reaction video for season 1 episode 6 of Bad Woman. This time the title of the episode is I'll be judge, I'll be jury. And yes, I know I am very very late to post this, but a lot of crazy exciting things happened this week. Uh, uh, my brother finally had his first uh, child. Well, his first daughter uh, so that was a Monday uh, and I couldn't react to bad woman in time but I'm very happy because now we have a baby in the house again uh, Josh is 12 years old is only the only kid here around the house and now there is a new one and so we're all very excited we have to be there with him with my brother and his uh, wife and the new baby and then I'd be helping them out because they don't know anything about babies and you know so it's been crazy uh, finally they arrived home yesterday uh, and it was just chaos basically here in the house uh, right now the baby's asleep everyone is asleep because they haven't slept in all night uh, so yeah I said you know what I'm gonna react to all my shows so I hope that you guys don't mind that uh, it took me a little bit longer to react to, but I just I haven't even been home, so yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue to burn for more. Give a lot of thumbs up if you love Bad Woman. Subscribe for more. Comment, hit the notification bell. Go to Patreon to watch the extended version. I'm going to do a catch-up. I'm going to watch, uh, well, right now, Bad Woman, American Horror Story, Riverdale, Legacies, and How to Get Away with Murder as soon as possible. So expect all those reactions coming to you this week and yeah coming up uh, a lot more reactions if you're on patreon so just stay tuned for the updated uh schedule anyways that's it without further ado let's just begin with season one episode six of bad woman <laughs> Insurance cover that? Oh, that can't be good. You run the other way. What the hell do I know about it? Oh, my God. I literally could have run like. Okay, maybe I'm overthinking. Beth was being held by a mad team trying to pick up a trace. Oh, like with just her, the black and red. Apparently, he's the better magician. These most notorious criminals, such as Jack Napier, otherwise known as the Joker. Channel Nine has a security camera. The Joker. Picture. Okay. I haven't watched the movie. I don't think I will. In addition to being, it's an old-fashioned. Who? Oh, Batman. Or Batwoman? <laughs> Sophie knows he's a star. She's literally wearing black and red, just cry, like bad women. Don't you want to know who's behind the mask? Sophie already knows. Ay! Why is she like this? Oh my god, that was so creepy. <laughs> She's so fucked up. <sighs> it's so fucking creepy that she can do that. For Dean Devro. Am I supposed to know that? You agree, oh, Mr. Devro? Okay. Please don't hurt me. The one that she's too stingy to share. Oh, don't say Mary. Please do not touch her. Who put away the guy that killed my dad? Uh, it's an armed robbery, right? Not at my high school graduation. Oh, look. We were celebrating. Check out his sentence. Shit. Okay, so he was not happy. I don't think that. Okay. Let's show Gotham we can keep him safe. Whoa. For the first time since never <laughs> since they opened. I don't think they have crack in a case. But anyways, <laughs> who's counting? Oh no no. Like no, no. the new look. Who is that? Is that Sophie? You. Goes with everything. <laughs> Time's up, Donnelly. <laughs> I think these are just recordings, maybe? Alright. Told you. Oh, no! Wait, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh! 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 Oh!
I'm in it. Oh no! Oh. Did they <sighs> shot the lesbian? I mean, thanks. Possible. Kate. Of course she knows. I love this. Damn, <laughs> she's drunk. Yeah, well, she's not Nina. Okay, you're not gonna fool her. Oh, Mary. Hello. Oh my God, softly. I mean, I need to know if you can fix her. Um. Well, one thing though, why didn't she took her to like an actual hospital? I mean, Mary is a fucking queen. We know this, okay? We know this. But would it make sense that she takes her to like a really good hospital? Okay. What was she shot with? A, a gun? I know it's <laughs> hollow point blackout. She's missing. No, you can't. Do not let her leave. This literally makes no sense. I get that the guy can copy like the face and the voice, but the body? Holy shit. How were you able to overcome the ferromagnetic projectile saturation? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> you almost touched her as unlicensed clinic. Mary will take care of her. She'll also keep her from leaving, and as long as she can't leave, she can't talk. But she's a crow. Uh, you follow second in command. You really think you can convince her not this, to tell her? This is, I'll deal with that. This is nonsense. Because if you still take her to a clinic or like to like a real hospital and tell her, you know what, we'll talk later, girl. I think that she won't. She, I don't think she will. I mean, I don't know. I still don't think it's okay to leave her with Mary. She needs a hospital, you know. But you know what? The the fact that she's pretending to be straight will protect her from the bullet. If she was out, bitch, she will be dead. After we've dealt with the execution, I swear. We need to figure out his which made a brief comeback under Mayor Cobblepot and the gas chamber. So his next victim will be with gas. The guy's got a flair for detail. So That's I'll bet you will battering who use hydrogen cyanide pellets just I like they did in the gas Gotham chamber. And... Why do I gotta get this? <laughs> Are you yeah, dumb? Girl? Not happening. <laughs> Anything out of the ordinary. Now let me buy you a drink and... Is he hitting on her? superhero thing. <laughs> <laughs> I get off at 11 the and uh... Tree play your cards right. Action and apparently neither has its card. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm a So you're telling me that no one knows where Sophie is? Bring here. Because that was an old killer. Uh can you hear me? Kate, you copy? No, she's not copying anything. Absorb any impact, so any deformation mm. in the fibers is recorded in the suit's data. So he left a, a print on her, literally. So it's originally designed to trap. Truth is, I'm usually here, trying to help certain Saving people lives. Like Gotham hospitals turn away. Yeah, she's so good. Mm. Mm. What? If you're dead, she's doing good. Also, your chain. Yeah, I didn't do that. Well, you better undo it. <laughs> that woman would kill me. Frankly, she's scarier than you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mary? Yeah, okay. Uh, hang on. Can you play some hold music while I wait? <laughs> I love that. No, okay, I'm just gonna grab it. With my family, day after day. And he Sometimes never, the ever stopped working some people, you know? until he found justice. If Stan is accused of being dirty, my dad's killer could use that to get a new trial. And maybe that's not but your if dad. or anyone killer. else will go down for something that they didn't do. Do you want to find the justice? real one? Yeah, that is true. It's hard for him to reopen those old wounds. I, I can't understand that. This is so personal, you know? <laughs> Did you literally do that? Oh my god. He was there and she wasn't. She was After kidnapped. everything we've been through, you keep secrets from me. Holy hell! Try keeping that a secret. So she's a scare of him. I'm okay. Guessing, right? So who can take care of herself? I Just like she took care of you girl. twice. By my account. Yeah, now you're just true. gonna betray her? 
Again. <laughs> what? Is that like your thing? What's that supposed to mean? I mean, that's what you did to tea? Me. Then she had to put an entire ocean between you and her. And Ooh, Mary's feeling no, the tea? You walk around, maybe think about whether or not you want to add that woman to the list of people you hurt. Oh, spilling the tea. This is why I like Mary. She keeps it real. Yes, girl. That's why I love her. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Now? Right. On it. <laughs> I love her. Inches away from her. He wasn't the one who crossed that house off of the list of places where Beth could be. Also, you were a child, so. You kept it. <laughs> to remind me of you. Very insane, after all. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season one, episode six of Bad Woman. And, you know, I kind of, I have watched, uh, a like, the first season in, like, kind of, like, three, four episodes, or maybe five episodes, maybe less, I don't, I don't remember, of Gotham. And so I do know some names. So they men they mentioned, of course, the Joker, which everyone is talking about the movie and everything. I haven't watched it. I I, I don't know. I I just haven't watched it yet. Um. So you have that mention. I do know who the Joker is. They also talked about Major Cobra Pop. I don't remember how you pronounce it, but if I'm not wrong, that is the Penguin, right? Um, Cobble Pop. I don't know, but I think that's the penguin. Um, so I do know him to, because of Gotham, the show, the TV show. Um, so yeah, that, that was that was really cool. And of course, Lucius Fox. If I'm not wrong, I have seen who Lucius Fox is on Gotham, on season one when they when little Bruce was trying to like. Um, I don't know what what he was trying to do. He was trying to get into the bad cave or in his house or something like that. And Lucius had something he did. I don't know. I, I vaguely remember that. Uh, I do know that that is Luke's uh, dad. And it, it's very sad to hear that he was killed. But I do like that they are, you know, kind of like going back with some old cases. Like old maybe villains uh, uh, on Gotham because we know how crazy Gotham is and to say that Gotham turned out to be crazy just because of Batman is very much an understatement like Gotham has always been like that you know corrupt to the bones and they have always had you know a lot of crazy things happening on that town that city so it's very bad to blaming everything on Batman. I understand why uh, Kate's dad is doing that. Um, 
because if he doesn't blame bad men, he will blame himself for everything that is happening, you know? So it's understandable. Um, but I do like the fact that they kind of talked with Kate about, you know, whether if, um, what, if, what they were going to do about, um, about Beth and all of it. And, you know, I don't know. I did like the episode. I wish we could have seen a little bit more of, of Beth, her story and everything that she represents. It's so intriguing and so important right now to the show. So I don't know. I, I, I just, I wish, uh, we could have seen a little bit more of her, um, uh, her relationship with Mouse. Of course there is some, I feel like even though they were both children, you know, even though they were, uh, not very much in control of what the dad did in, 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 in the sense of like keeping her there, there was a point in their lives where maybe, you know, the, well, maybe the Stockholm syndrome for both of them kind of hit to her. And that's why they, they were like, she was never able to leave. And also she kind of did believe that he was her friend. Um, of course, blaming Kate at that moment for, um, for not feeling that or whatever is very much a, like a stupid reason to hate yourself. But I don't know, I, to me, it's very dumb to be like, oh, I was inches away. From, how will you know? Like, honestly, yes, they are calling all oh, the twin thing, you know, where you connect with your twin and you know if the other one is suffering, but... Is it like scientific proof that it happens all the time? I mean, she did go go down there. She did try to like uh, see if it was there, but at the end of the day, you know, Beth at that moment was very scared that the other guy was gonna do something against her her sister, and in a way, she protected her and her dad that way, you know. So. But, but she does blame herself, you know. I do believe that Kate does blame herself. Um, but I do see that um, there's some level of uh, fear from Alice, Beth, towards Mouse. You know, I'm guessing that uh, growing up there, even though she's not very, like, sane, I'm guessing Mouse isn't either, you know. Um, and the fact that he isn't, it's kind of like, she was like kind of on the edge when he was screaming and things like that, you know. Uh, but we have to remind ourselves that the reason why Beth is the way she is is because of, you know, everything she has gone through about being kidnapped, about being, you know, uh, there with Mouse and with the other guys. So, and being away from her family, everything, you know, adds up, you know. Uh, and then you have Sophie, who I think the Lord, she right now thinks she's straight. So she, she, she was hit by a bullet, but she survived. If she was Alexa, Alexa literally got hit and died the next second. Uh, yeah, I'm still blaming Clark for being the doctor who attended her and pulled water inside of her wound. I don't know what the hell she was doing. Anyways, not the point, but yeah, anyway, so... She's, she's good, thankfully. The, she's protected by being straight right now. So that's the reason why she's <laughs> alive. I hope you guys know that I'm joking, okay? Um, but she knows, of course, who Kate... I mean, who Bad Woman is. She knows it's Kate. Uh, she knew who she was and the first moment she wore the, the suit. She was like, what the hell are you doing, you know? Um, but I do love the fact that Mary kind of stand out for her. And she was like... Stop betraying the people that, you know, kind of trust you or whatever and, like, don't out her. Don't do the same thing you did to Kate, even though it's the same person. So in that moment, I think it resonated with her, even though at the end, when she's with her dad, Sophie is there. And I, I want to believe she was there just to, like, talk to the dad, not necessarily to go and say, oh, you know what, your daughter is a bad woman. I don't think that was her intention at that moment. Hopefully she understands that she cannot keep doing this to Kate. Um, I do love them together. They're kind of, you know, they're really cute and all of it. But, you know, if you are, if you ever going to focus on also on her relationship with her, like me, 
Sophie's relationship with um, with Kate didn't do it because I, I do want to see progress, especially on Sophie's side because we know that she had a relationship with with Kate. We know that she's still very much in the closet, not even like. She hasn't even accepted herself and like she denies the relationship she had with Kate. And this is like you're putting her very far behind on the whole process of finding who she is. So if you're going to do that, we do want to see the development of that. You know, we want to see her kind of coming to terms with who she is, kind of understanding who she is so we can understand her better and like really have an epic love story between Kate and Sophie. I am all for it. Uh, but right now it's just still the same thing, same thing. And it's, it's like, when is it going to happen? You know, when are you going to focus on Sophie and Kate as the main couple, right? Because if you're not going to give it, I, I'm pretty sure that is love interest. But if you're not, then bring Regan back. Why don't you bring her back? I wouldn't mind, you know? Um... She had amazing chemistry with Kate. Just saying. Okay, because Sophie is there. I know Sophie is there. And, like, they look amazing together. But Sophie is, like, so far down the closet that it's like, where is she? Like, I don't know. I don't think she's going to come out anytime soon. Um, but, yeah, let me see the drama. I would really like to see that. Uh, but, yeah, good episode. I really liked it, even though I was like, why did she brought her? to marry where like mary can be very good but she doesn't have like a full operate op operation room with like I, I don't know like a real hospital has you know she's more into like oh i can get vaccines and like if you have a cold and things like that very minor things she hasn't even graduated yet so why are we putting this much pressure like it doesn't make sense that part really didn't make sense. I understand it was because she didn't want her to tell the secret, but honey, she could have died and she wouldn't, she will have carried that secret to the grave. I know that I'm being dramatic, but still, you know, I don't know. I think she, you need to make things make sense, I think. I don't know. Anyway, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you love bad women. Subscribe for more, comment. Hit the notification bell and you can also go to Patreon to watch the extended version. And that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for, well, next week, which is in, like, three, four days to watch the next episode. So, yeah, uh, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.